The following presentation explores the history of Los Angeles street names with documents and historic photographs provided by the Seaver Center for Western History Research located in the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. The discussion of early Los Angeles will be followed by a look at neighborhoods including Echo Park, Lincoln Heights, Playa del Rey, and Windsor Hills, and how street names reflected the growth of the city from ranching, agriculture, land speculation, oil discovery, and movie making. Also covered are the former streets and neighborhoods in what is now South Park along the Figueroa Corridor south of downtown. Lastly, the former streets that existed before the arrival of the downtown portion of the Harbor Freeway, the Hollywood Freeway, and the four-level interchange will be discussed. Street names are pages in a history book, full of colorful stories. The names are anchors in the passing of time, events, and people. Los Angeles grew from the original 1781 Spanish settlement of four square leagues. That is about 28 square miles. Fifty years after the founding of the Pueblo, there was not a regular street. A traveler on horseback threaded his way among the scattered houses. By 1830, Mexican Los Angeles had expanded from its nucleus at the plaza and its church. When California ceded to the U.S. in 1848, it marked the beginning of change to the landscape of L.A. Expansion was possible when the city was able to gain additional land from the federal government. Expansion also resulted from real estate track developments, speculation activities, land booms. There were many annexations of places like Eagle Rock, Hollywood, and Venice into the fold of the city. An 1879 observation of street life reported, because of the mixed population, they were always colorful and interesting. Street cars cross the principal streets. Numerous vehicles and carriages are seen. Four-seated carriages with heavy springs, light American vehicles, and frequently small carriages driven by Chinese. The Americans usually drive in place of riding horseback. Many riders, however, are in evidence, for the Spaniards, Frenchmen, and Italians prefer riding to driving. Spanish boys are often seen galloping gaily. Young Californians, brown as Arabs, also ride by. In the summer, the dust is distinctly disagreeable. However, in the morning, the streets are frequently watered from sprinkling carts. The dust on the sidewalks is settled by using a hose attached to water connections inside the house. The city relied on a convict labor force called chain gangs for public work such as street maintenance, shown as a newspaper report on the chain gang. The exploration of street names begins with Ord Street, located in Chinatown, named in honor of Edward Otho Cresep Ord, who drew the first land survey of Los Angeles. Lieutenant Ord made numerous trips to Los Angeles in the course of his military assignments and side work as a surveyor. The 1849 land survey was mandated after the U.S. war with Mexico. Ord's historic survey included Spanish and English names. Many of those original street names are still used today. One is Spring Street or Calle Primavera. In the earlier Mexican period, it was known as Calle de la Caridad or Street of Charity because it was viewed that the wealthy and charitable residents subsidized the poor. An even earlier name around 1800 was Calle Cuidado or Beware Street. The oldest thoroughfare may be in today's Los Angeles Street at the segment near Aliso and Arcadia Streets. In the earlier part of the century, it was known as Sanja, or Calle Sanja Madre, because the mother water ditch ran along here. 
By the 1830s, the name evolved to Calle Principal, meaning the main street, but it was named Los Angeles Street mistakenly by Lieutenant Ord. The name Los Angeles was derived from various Spanish references to the Lady of the Angels. Due to the mistake in the Ord survey, a less important street ended up being marked as Calle Principal, which is today known as Main Street. A continuation of Calle Principal was named Calle de los Huertos, but by 1853 Orchard Street was changed to San Pedro as it was the main thoroughfare heading south to the San Pedro Embarcadero. Other names still used today that were derived from the original Spanish names are Hill Street or Calle Loma, Olive Street or Calle Acetuna, Hope Street or Calle de la Esperanza, and Flower Street or Calle de las Flores. In 1886, Grand Avenue was adopted in place of Charity Street. Residents objected to the connotations of the word charity. Broadway Street replaced Calle Fortin or Fort Street in 1890. Fort Street was associated with Fort Moore, a hilltop memorial to fallen American soldiers of the U.S. War with Mexico. City boosters chose Broadway to give the city a semblance of Americanness. The streets running east and west are similar today as in 1849. Calle Primero, or First Street, was documented as early as 1846. The Ord survey only noted Calle Primero through Calle Ocho, however, the survey continued down to the city border at 12th Street. North of the Los Angeles Plaza, extending north and south, were Calle de Eternidad, Calle del Toro, Calle de las Arispas, and Calle de los Adobes. Today, the only remaining name is Adobe Street. Likewise, the east and west running streets north of the plaza were Calle Corta, Calle Alta, Calle de las Virgenes, and Calle del Colegio. The only name that remains from the early period is College Street. Early Mexican-era maps, called diseños, were simply drawings with unnamed geological landmarks. Many of the visual descriptions found on the diseños were adopted later in naming an area or a street. An example of a natural demarcation was the western boundary of the city, shown as Calle de los Chapules in the Ord survey, later referred in English as Grasshopper Street, and then changed to Pearl Street in 1874. The area was on the outskirts of the Los Angeles Pueblo, along fields of uncultivated vegetation. It is now Figueroa Street. Another name derived from a landmark is Aliso Street, for a large sycamore tree called El Aliso. A familiar point of reference for the traveling Spanish settlers of Los Angeles, their trail became known as Aliso Street. It was later changed to Mission Road as the path to the Mission San Gabriel. Instead of a natural landmark, settlers often applied the names of their places of origin, such as Canoga Park for Canoga, New York, and Chatsworth for an estate in Devonshire, England. Street naming has been shaped by land developments and events, as well as through individuals and families. This includes the legacy of the Spanish and Mexican ranchos, such as the pictured streets that stemmed from Rancho La Cienega, O Paso de la Tijera, and Rancho Los Files, as well as American-era housing track names. Names are attributed to land developers and prominent residents. Street name origins also reflected early farming culture, the oil industry, and the growth of Southern California's movie-making industry in the early 1900s. In the first years of the newly Americanized city, all the streets south of Pico were named for the first presidents in their order of succession. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, John Quincy Adams, and Jackson streets were identified on an 1857 survey map even though the land had not yet been granted by the United States Land Commission. Today, only three of the names remain, Washington, Adams, and Jefferson. 
The Mexican legacy of the city was acknowledged through the establishment of Pico Street in the early 1850s, named for the influential statesman, vast landowner, and the final Alta California governor under Mexican rule, Pio de Jesus Pico. Today, it is a boulevard. Pio Pico was born at the San Gabriel Mission in 1801. He resided in Los Angeles, where he witnessed a burgeoning American city before he died in 1894. He was the epitome of a Californio, a Mexican who lived through California's rule under Spain, Mexico, and the United States. Figueroa Street is remembered for Mexican General Jose Figueroa, Governor of Alta California from 1833 to 1835. Other Mexican governors represented in street names include Jose Maria de Echeandia, Manuel Michel Torena, and Juan Bautista Alvarado. The Sepulveda family, landholders of Rancho San Vicente y Santa Monica, Rancho Palos Verdes, and other properties, is remembered through Sepulveda Boulevard, the longest street in the city. During the transition to American governance, land ownership had to be contested and proven in court. Pictured is Jose Dolores Sepulveda, whose family was awarded Rancho San Vicente y Santa Monica in 1881. Proposals to change street names often struck the nerve of the community. Sentiments ran deep when the name was ingrained in an area and served as its identity. In 2003, City Hall set out to rename Crenshaw Boulevard to Tom Bradley Boulevard in honor of the five-term African-American mayor, but a barrage of opposition blocked the effort. An example of a successful name change took place in 1983 when Santa Barbara Avenue became Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in tribute to the slain civil rights leader. Temple Street faced five name change proposals in 1921, 1925, 1931, 1932, and 1953, and each instance was embroiled in controversy. Having arrived in Los Angeles in 1827, John Temple was praised for building the first commercial structures to house the first market, theater, courthouse, and offices. He held the largest expanse of land in the Mexican era, and he was considered a trailblazer in the Anglo community of Los Angeles. The last unsuccessful attempt to change the name to Civic Center Boulevard was in 1953. Two other street names adopted in recent years are Cesar E. Chavez Avenue and astronaut Ellison S. Onizuka Street. Cesar Chavez Avenue is named for the late civil rights leader who was a symbol of Chicano empowerment and who fought on behalf of migrant laborers. The name replaced Macy Street, which was connected to Brooklyn Avenue. The renaming occurred in 1994. Macy Street was named for Dr. Obadiah Macy. Like most white settlers of the time, he and his family endured a nine-month overland journey that was at times harrowing and fraught with danger from several Indian attacks. They managed to arrive out west unscathed, but many groups making similar treks were not as fortunate. Brooklyn Avenue was a primary street laid out in the 1877 Brooklyn Heights subdivision of Boyle Heights. In 1987, Weller Court, a street in Little Tokyo, was renamed Astronaut Ellison S. Onizuka Street in remembrance of the Japanese-American astronaut who died in the 1986 Challenger spacecraft explosion. During the 1850s, competing stagecoaches often raced through Weller Street while transporting passengers from the San Pedro Harbor to their dusty destination at the Bella Union Hotel on Main Street. 
In the heart of Los Angeles is Vignes Street, named for Jean-Louis Vignes from France. He came to California in 1831 and resided in Los Angeles until his death in 1862. He was the most important winemaker in the West, producing over 40,000 gallons a year and is considered a pioneer of California viticulture. Pictured here about 1890 is Vignes's nephew Ferdinand and his family, who followed his uncle's footsteps and came to Los Angeles in 1843 and also established a vineyard. A short distance away is Arcadia Street, which was the property line of El Palacio de Don Abel, home to Abel Stearns and Maria Francisca Paula Arcadia Bandini. Arcadia Bandini, as she is commonly referred to in history books, was the daughter of Juan Bandini, a Peruvian-born Italian who arrived in California at the time of Mexico's struggle for independence with Spain. Arcadia accumulated land and wealth by inheritance and marriage. She and her second husband co-founded the city of Santa Monica. The city of Arcadia was named for her by its founder, Lucky Baldwin. She died in 1912. Chavez Ravine Road originally extended to an area settled by a young New Mexican, Julian Chavez, who applied to the Mexican granting authority, the Ayuntamiento, for land rights in the 1840s. He served on the first American City Council, the first Board of Supervisors, and two subsequent terms as City Councilman. Stadium Way supplanted the road by the time Dodger Stadium opened in 1962. Today, Chavez Ravine Place is the short path that remains. Nearby is Coronel Street, a reminder of the Coronel family who settled in Los Angeles in 1834, including the distinguished Californio Antonio Franco Coronel. He served as the Justice of the Peace in 1843. He became the first Mexican mayor of Los Angeles during the American era from 1853 to 1854 and was later the state treasurer. He died in 1894. Bellevue and Beaudry Streets were major roads transversing through the property subdivided by the prolific French-Canadian land developer Prudent Beaudry and his brother Victor. Prudent Beaudry also became mayor. More about the two brothers later in this presentation. Downey Road runs less than a mile east outside the city limits, but across town in Lincoln Heights, there was a time when Downey Avenue existed. The switch to North Broadway took away a city tribute to John Gately Downey, an influential Los Angeles resident who became California governor when the Civil War started. He had extensive land holdings that included Rancho Santa Gertudes, and he was part of the town committee that pushed for a railroad between Los Angeles and San Francisco. Pictured is a public notice dated 1872 to promote the railroad. A major street in Lincoln Heights that has survived is Griffin Avenue and is attributed to Dr. John Griffin. Pictured is an 1873 track map showing the land owned by Griffin and John Downey. St. Vincent's Court, a narrow street tucked between buildings by 7th and Hill Streets, served as an entrance into St. Vincent's College from 1867 to 1887. The Catholic school was the first institution of higher learning in Southern California. This was formerly the site of Bullock's Department Store and is currently St. Vincent's Jewelry Center. Pictured here is the school. The school is now known as Loyola Marymount University, located in the Westchester district of the city. The next group of streets, located west of downtown, came about from land settlements westward during the 1880s to the 1900s. Whitmer Street traverses up a hilly terrain once known as Crown Hill. Edward Doheny's famous 1892 discovery of oil occurred on a lot on West 2nd Street sold to Doheny by Henry Clayton Whitmer, a Wisconsin transplant. The Board of Education purchased land on Crown Hill in 1923 to build Belmont High School. Carroll Avenue in the famed 1886 Angelino Heights tract was named for Carroll Stilson, a son of the developer William Wallace Stilson. 
Rampart Boulevard was a point in turn-of-the-20th-century land development proceeding further west, beyond Angelino Heights. In 1905, the Rampart Heights tract was reported to include the grading of Rampart Boulevard to run through the center of the subdivision and touted to exceed 120 feet wide. Nearby tracks included the Chateau Place, Occidental Park, and Commonwealth tracks. In the late 1890s, the population concentrated in Los Angeles, but settlements were also scattered in places like the Cahuenga Valley and the towns of Hollywood and Santa Monica. There was general interest by all to develop transportation links. The demand for transportation prompted the development of Sunset Boulevard. Sunset first existed at two different places, heading westward from about Douglas Street in Angelino Heights, but also within the town of Hollywood. The Sunset name might have been inspired by a failed real estate venture during the land boom of the 1880s called Sunset in what is now Holmby Hills. A promotional campaign called for a grand boulevard to form the main thoroughfare between Los Angeles and Santa Monica. Efforts to join the two roads culminated in 1904, although the successful link in Hollywood was through Prospect Avenue, later renamed Hollywood Boulevard. Shown here are travelers in 1909. Hollywood has continued a legacy of self-promotion. In the 1950s, the Hollywood Walk of Fame was created to celebrate movie history on the boulevard. In another part of town, there is a remnant of early filmmaking. In Lincoln Heights, Selig Place is what remains of Selig Zoo, operated by the first West Coast film studio, Selig Polyscope Company. The street trolleyway in Playa del Rey is a holdover of an early 20th century land venture called Palisades del Rey. The Pacific Electric Transportation Line had hoped to operate along the 1924 development via the street. Palisades del Rey, however, failed with the onset of the stock market crash in 1929. Land developer Fritz Burns was at the center of this doomed development. Olympiad Drive, which runs through Windsor Hills, was named in a 1937 subdivision to commemorate a temporary housing complex built nearby to accommodate the male athletes of the 1932 Los Angeles Olympics. Fritz Burns purchased some of the cottages after the games ended, then moved them to Palisades del Rey and renamed the property as Olympic Beach. The South Park District at the Figueroa Corridor, immediately south of downtown, is home to visitors' venues like the Los Angeles Convention Center, built in 1971. By 1993, the face of the neighborhood changed again when the Convention Center expanded, causing the relocation of over 1,500 residents and 128 businesses. The Staples Center sports arena presence, other entertainment venues, and nearby residential lofts have funneled new activity and patronage into this zone. This area was the fringe of the original Pueblo. The earliest city demarcations ended at present-day Figueroa on the west and 12th Street on the south. Pictured here is an early view and a contemporary view of Pico and Figueroa. Another photograph here shows the corner of Washington and Figueroa in 1898. Chickhearn Court is named for the late sportscaster of the Lakers basketball team. The team's home court is the Staples Center. A road on the grounds of the Convention Center honors the late city councilman Gilbert Lindsay. Nearby Georgia Street was a 19th century naming tribute bestowed to Georgia Herrick Bell during her lifetime, as she had resided in the area since 1866. The area has undergone a great deal of transformation, but the historic street remains. As years have passed, Georgia Bell Street has been truncated in name and in its street length. 
She was married to former Union soldier Horace Bell, who was a member of the Los Angeles Rangers, a semi-vigilante peacekeeping group formed by private citizens. Mr. and Mrs. Bell's nearby home at 1337 Figueroa was the first residence on Figueroa Street. A newspaper reported that she was the first American woman to live south of 8th Street and west of Grand Avenue. At the western boundary of the Convention Center is Cherry Street. A section of the street was originally Centu Street, named for the landowners, French brothers Jean and Louis Centu, who were successful sheep and cattle breeders. During the gold rush when people from around the world swarmed to California, the Centu brothers arrived separately around the year of 1850. They soon acquired expanses of land, including reaches to present-day Jefferson and Western, the San Pedro Harbor was a busy and profitable marketplace for their wares of cowhides and cured meats. Pictured are Cento cattle brands registered in Los Angeles County for 1850 and 1868. As the city became increasingly urban, areas surrounding their property were subdivided in a heated land speculation market. Pictured is an 1886 track map of the city's center development. The Centu ranchers joined the real estate trend and the Centu subdivision appeared on the market in 1887. By 1896, a much needed elementary school was built at Pico and Centu's, aptly named Centu Street School. The school was raised in 1969 to make way for the convention center. Biograph Studios, one of the earliest silent film companies, established their first transient West Coast studio at Pico and Georgia Streets around 1910. The innovative director, D. W. Griffith, headed the film's projects for Biograph in Los Angeles at a time when East Coast film studios were transitioning to Southern California for the advantage of year-round sunshine. Other major buildings in the area included the Herald Express newspaper, the Central Receiving Hospital and Jail, a Pacific Electric Railway car barn, and pictured as the Elroy Hotel. Automobile dealerships have long resided on Figueroa, which show rooms for Oldsmobile, Studebakers, and others, shown here as a car lot on Figueroa. This last segment discusses the former streets appropriated in the 1940s and 1950s to build the downtown portions of the Hollywood and Harbor freeways and the four-level interchange. Beaudry Avenue exemplifies the history and development of the area. It is the legacy of a Los Angeles pioneer, Prudent Beaudry. In 1850, French-Canadian brothers Victor and Prudent Beaudry were among those to arrive in California during the gold rush. Both worked as merchants in mining camps. Prudent Beaudry made his way to Los Angeles in 1852. A man with bold business acumen, Beaudry took risks when he purchased cheap land on the outskirts of the young city, made the land habitable, and laid out several housing tracts. One of those tracks was Bunker Hill, which gained its name from the primary street, Bunker Hill Avenue, named in 1876 for the Revolutionary War centennial of the Battle of Bunker Hill. By 1883, the area bordering Olive, Temple, and Bunker Hill Avenue was compared to San Francisco's affluent Knob Hill. The critical need for an adequate water supply in his subdivisions led him to join Dr. John Griffin and Solomon Lazard in forming the Los Angeles City Water Company in 1868. Their company became the water provider to the entire city. Beaudry's Midas touch included his election as mayor from 1874 to 1876. His brother Victor was also residing in the city and was the sales agent for subdivisions adjacent to Bunker Hill, including the Rosas Tract, the West Rosas Tract, and the Beaudry Tract, which encompassed today's Chinatown. Victor Beaudry sold land in 1886 to William Stilson, who developed the property into Angelino Heights. Another subdivision in 1886 was the Park Track, located in today's northwest section of the Civic Center. By the 1890s, Bunker Hill's well-to-do residents began moving out as oil drilling pockmarked the landscape. 
By the 1940s, the homes were deteriorating. The grand mansions were gradually converted to cheap rooming houses, and the area developed a criminal reputation. A municipal project was enforced to redevelop the neighborhoods. Here are some of the homes pictured in the late 1960s. Neighborhoods in adjacent tracts, the Beaudry Tract and the Park Tract, were maturing as well. Newer outlying suburbs drew the middle class away, and low-income residents took their place. By 1947, construction of portions of the Hollywood and Harbor freeways and the four-level interchange would puncture and slice away the old subdivisions. The first L.A. freeway, the Pasadena Freeway, formerly the Arroyo Seco Parkway, took away corners of the Beaudry Tract. Later downtown freeway projects mostly affected the Park Tract. Evictions took place as early as 1945 along the 101 Hollywood route. Residents protested, but eventually segments of the north and south running Centennial and Custer streets gave way for the four level, which broke ground in 1947. The Cloverleaf, the Freeway Junction, or the Los Angeles Interchange, as it was known, was finished in July of 1949. The east and westbound Court Street sat in the way of the Harbor Freeway, just north of 1st Street, and was demolished by 1948. The first segment of the freeway opened July 30, 1952, and stretched from the four-level interchange down to 3rd Street. Around 1948, two streets were leveled to make way for the last segment of the Hollywood Freeway, where it converged with the four-level. One was Fort Moore Street. The other was California Street, which was originally named in 1896 for two separate streets in Beaudry's Park Tract, Sand Street and Bunker Hill Avenue. An early filmmaking presence was located here. The East Coast-based film company called the Mutoscope and Biograph Company had a West Coast address at 312 California Avenue in 1909. Once residential streets like Mignonette and Custer streets now dead end to the path of freeways. The stories behind city street names serve as permanent reminders of our shared sense of place, and those stories can be introduced to new generations as well as visitors and newcomers. This video has shown the significance of Los Angeles street names through documents and historic photographs from the Seaver Center for Western History Research, touching upon the rich heritage of Los Angeles and its layers of history made by those city builders and dwellers who have passed through the land we call our own. As long as street signs exist, our past is always present.